Bill O'Reilly debated former KKK Grand Wizard and former neo-Nazi David Duke. Because why not? It's Fox News. That's how they roll. Uh, they discussed Steve Scalise, the Republican who spoke to a racist group in 2002. Or at least they tried to discuss it. They got sidetracked with other things. Let's watch. I'm not a white supremacist at all. In fact, the European American Union and Rights Group was, in fact, a chartered civil rights organization. And I, in fact, in the Louisiana legislature, sponsored a bill that forbid racial discrimination in these programs called affirmative action, all which right, are right, racial but let, discrimination. Let's get back to uh, the Congressman right. Scalise, because he's in the eye of the tiger right now. Right, sure. All right, so you weren't there. You were in Moscow doing something else. Were you aware that he was going to speak to your group? I heard about that, but uh, yeah, I, I tell you frankly, I know your next question is, was he there? And I can't be sure he was there. Right, so you don't know conflicted. whether he actually showed up because the New Orleans Picayune newspaper is saying, yeah, he spoke, but it wasn't to your group. It was to another group at the same hotel and blah, 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 blah. But I know he was scheduled to speak, but uh, I don't know if he spoke. But well, here's the deal. I, I've been, I was out of the Klan. At, the, at this time, longer than Robert Byrd was out of the Klan when he went to the United States Congress. Oh, wait, you know, wait, 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 that's Just not the label of the group is sending what, a message, what? the European Union. Oh, it's the a same white, message. I okay, know you, look, I've look, known you for a long you're not time. You're not answer. I'm not, look, we don't have enough time for you to answer oh, and give I you see, a philosophy. Of course you don't. Of course no. you, no, the, no, no, The thing is about understand. Scalise, look, if, but don't sit there and tell me you're not a white, your organization isn't looking at out for the white European I'm race. Out, look, That's what you're looking I, out for. I tell you what, I'm looking out for the rights of all Americans. I also believe that European Americans shouldn't be discriminated against in jobs or scholarships or any other way. Yeah, all right. That's, and, and that's a position so, that's, that's being not, debated that is all not, over the place. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and so if Scalise was there, he wasn't at a Klan meeting. And look at the hypocrisy. Here's, here's a perfect example. Here's uh, Nelson Mandela, all right? The, he, this is a member, this is a picture of Nelson Mandela at a Communist Party meeting. He was a member of the Central and Committee. And I reported that. The, and I reported well, well, that. Exactly. But let me ask you the question. Does any of the mass media in what this country... What do you country, care? You don't do, care no, about the mass I, media? Well, you know wait, they despise you. No, I sure don't care about and them you're not because they're enemies of all from people in America, European Americans, all African right. Americans. Look, he was a communist. They never headlined former communist Nelson That's Mandela. That's because they're sympathetic in the mainstream media for the left. Exactly. And, and, you, they're, and, you, but and look, they're unsympathetic but, but to Europeans. Don't sit here and tell me and that they, you're not trying look, to promote the cause of white people. Because you are. Look, I am absolutely I love my people, my heritage. I want to preserve my heritage like every people does. Preserve but your believe, heritage? What does that mean? How about European heritage? What does you that see, mean? Look, I'll tell you what, you don't know what European heritage is? You don't know what Mozart is and Bach and Beethoven? You don't They're know people. The they come from different countries. Let Look, me tell you. The problem with this you. garbage on both sides That's not is garbage. that we're all in it together and skin color That's should right. matter. And you know what? There's so many parts of that I find interesting. First of all, are we supposed to cheer Bill O'Reilly for disagreeing with David Duke? Bold stand, bro. You disagree with a guy who was in the KKK and was a neo-Nazi. And please, as if today he doesn't have the same uh, sympathies, my ass. And even Bill O'Reilly can see through that. So I love how there's some websites like giving O'Reilly credit. <laughs> I mean, uh, damning with faint praise, I believe, is the way the uh, saying goes. That's what that is right there. And this is a Fox News trick they do all the time. They'll bring on somebody who's so fucking insane that when you have a guy like Shep Smith or Chris Wallace or Bill O'Reilly disagree with the person, then they'll use this in the future when Bill O'Reilly says something racist to go, no, what do you mean he's not racist? Remember that one time he disagreed with a former KKK grand wizard? So they'll hold this over everybody's head like, no, see, Fox News, fair and balanced. We're moderate because once we disagreed with neo-Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> so very little credit is going to come from me. I mean, it's the lowest bar you could ever set to disagree with David Duke. And so, But let's address some of the stuff David Duke said anyway. He said, I'm the head of a civil rights group.
the easiest way to respond to that is we already have civil rights. We meaning white people. It reminds me of when Christians scream about how they're oppressed and about how they're downtrodden in American society. When 73% to 76% of the American people are Christian. It's like when they scream about the war on Christmas, but of course the statistics show that 93% of the American people celebrate Christmas. See, the thing is, they view their rights as taking away your rights. That's how the fundamentalist Christians view rights. And this is how white supremacists, like David Duke, view rights rights. It's their right to keep down everybody else and take away everybody else's rights. So to him, it's a right for him to keep down black people and keep down Hispanic people and only support white people. Now, also, uh, I love how this is the second or third time now I've heard this argument since the Scalise scandal, where conservatives go, well, Robert Byrd was a Democrat and he was in the Klan, so yeah. I guess it's okay that I was in it. No. And I got news for you. Us Democrats are not okay with Robert Byrd having been in the Klan. It's not like we looked at him and somebody said to us, Psst, he's a Democrat. It's cool. And we were like, oh, I got you. So we're for him even though he's in the Klan. All agreed? Say aye. That's not the way it works. We all hate it. We hate it. And again, for the record, Robert Byrd was a Democrat Going back to the Dixiecrat days when a certain faction of the Democratic Party in the South was conservative. So it's not like, you know, him being a Democrat represents Democratic values today in America. No, it represents 1950s Mississippi style Democrat, which was conservative in its nature. So that point doesn't mean anything, but they think they're ca getting us in an I gotcha thing, right? Like, well, uh, Robert Byrd was in the Klan, so I guess it's okay that I was in it. No, it's not okay that either one of you were in it, because you're both fucking idiots. And then Nelson Mandela, he brings up Nelson Mandela, as if, like, he, he thinks he tarnishes Mandela's record by saying, see, I have a picture of him at some kind of communist event. Okay, communism is a political ideology. Sure, bad things have been done in the name of communism. There's also been good things and good people who were communists. I mean, Nelson Mandela at a time maybe was one, and at other times he wasn't one. But what he did was free his people in South Africa to try to smear his entire legacy because of one photo where he was at a communist event. That makes no sense whatsoever. And remember, communism at its core is what? It's a political ideology. The KKK at its core is what? A terrorist group. There's a difference. There is such thing as somebody who's a communist that's a decent person. In my book, there's no such thing as a Nazi who's a decent person or a KKK person who's a decent person because the ideology by its nature demands violence and demands supremacy of one group over another group. That's not the case with communism. And remember, there are m massive aspects of communism I disagree with, but you don't have to worry about communists lynching somebody in the South. Now, also, and you know what, let me just wrap it up on this real quick, because I could go on and on here. <laughs> but this is actually the perfect thing to end on, because it shows you the mindset, again. David Duke says to Bill O'Reilly, well, what do you mean you're not concerned about, you know, European rights and standing up for the civil rights of white people? We count, too. I mean, I want to stand up for our heritage. And when Bill O'Reilly presses him on it, he says, I, ca I want to stand up for Mozart and Bach and Beethoven. The issue is, Mr. Duke, Mozart and Bach and Beethoven are not under attack. Nobody's uh, hating them and coming after them and trying to burn their works. Uh, there, there is not a history of anti-Mozart behavior in the black community, which is what your argument implies.